This is a subject I've been meaning to do for some time now. I just never got around to it until today I came across an article, and you're not going to believe this, but they are actually planning on developing insect-like and insect-size robots to spy on people. This is an MSNBC article. You can find the sidebar over here. U.S. hopes to develop bug-sized flying spies. The future is now, but are we ready for it? Now, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to show you some footage of some of these kill bots. This first one is a kind of um, hover bot, I suppose. Um, it's not very pretty, but check it out. This next one is called the Sword's Talon, and I believe it has been used in combat. The Sword's Talon weighs approximately 200 pounds with a mounted weapon system, so it is easily transported into combat. We can actually download it off the back end of a Humvee, roll it out the back side of a striker vehicle or armored vehicle, and put it right into action. The military is putting the Swords Talon and the Gladiator through their final paces and will soon deploy them into active duty. The robots themselves, these things are amazing. We can have them do anything they want. They don't complain like our regular soldiers do. Uh, they don't cry. They don't, they're not scared. This robot here has no fear, which is a good supplement to the United States Army. Robots have no compassion and they have no judgment. And as this artificial intelligence continues to be developed, and it's amazing how fast it's developing along with the technology, robots are going to be more and more independent in their actions on the battlefield. It's hard to even comprehend that this is happening in the first place. But it's developing very quickly. I mean, we even have laser cannons now and everything. It's unreal. So, yes, Where's the morality in this? Think about the human race. I mean, are we wise enough? Are we intelligent and careful enough to handle this kind of war technology? I'd have to say definitely not. I'm going to be looking more into this in the future and finding out more about it. And I'm going to be see I'm going to look into um, what I can do to try to put a stop to this. I'm only one person, but if enough people can speak out against this, I mean, do we really have to wait until? all kinds of innocent people are killed before we act on this. We should try to act on this sooner than later. Um, I'm going to continue researching this and if I find out more information um, I'll post it. In, in the meanwhile uh, I encourage anyone who's concerned about this to research it. This isn't right. The robots should not be used as soldiers because, like I say, they have no compassion, they have no reasoning, they'll just act. And for those of you who find comfort in having kill bots that are working for your army to protect you, supposedly, um, think about this. There is such a thing as hacking. And if you can hack a regular computer, then why can't you hack a robot computer? A signal goes in telling it what to do. Well, can't someone interfere with that signal or send a signal of their own to turn the killbots of one army on to them? Nothing but chaos can result from this. This is beyond our wisdom to handle as a race. We have to put a stop to this. And it's not really being discussed like it should be. This is a disaster waiting to happen. I have some slides that I'd like you to take a look at. This first killbot is called a Sword's Talon. It can travel through sand, water, and snow up to 100 feet deep and climb stairs as well. It uses chemical, gas, temperature, and radiation sensors that are displayed in real time on a handheld device. The average cost for one of these units, $60,000.
think it would be a lot more. These are some more military robots in experimentation. These particular ones are for non-lethal purposes. As you can see, some of them are quite lethal. And these are not just being tested out. They are being employed in combat. Some have been used in the war in Iraq. And more are being developed still. This is an exoskeletal robotic outfit. There's an interesting article on this on a website that I'll link to you in the sidebar, or link to you rather, called Building the Iron Man. Popular Science has an interesting article on this. It is in development for the United States Army, and the release date is due for 2020. Looks like something out of uh, Captain Power. I don't know how many of you remember that TV show, but this is all becoming a reality.